Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and I just want to quickly go through an update to this mod. Uh, there's been a few little minor updates, but this is sort of a biggish one, so I just wanted to do an instruction video for that one function. So basically, if you pick up a Mage Knight, say we're going to play Volcare, and we want to play Volcare, and we want to use it, or we're not playing, we're doing a custom scenario, we just want to use the Volcare dummy. So I'm just going to set up for a one player Volcare game. So I pull out my Mage Knight, pull out the dummy from the dummy player board, I turn on Volcare, I put competitive mode off, and I'm just going to clean up and start. And that's basically the the beginning of how you get into the game at any point, right? So now what I want to do is I also want to play with a Volcare. So normally when you hit, when you're playing with a dummy board, you just hit random dummy until you get the Mage Knight you want, or just, you know, choose, make, choose a Mage Knight by placing it at the top of the deck, or, you know, just putting a single card on, however you want to do it. The point is, whatever Mage Knight is showing is the dummy it will use. But you can also now just drag out from the Volcare bag at the top, the general token, and then hit choose, and it will build a little uh, dummy board specifically for him. And it's got a few things on it. For starters, the deck here is the 20 card deck, so it's got a copy of all the competitive spells and it's got a normal mage knight deck so that's that you've also got you know a, a little shuffler here that you can shuffle and drag out a skill bag from mage knights because when you're playing solo you have a skill bag here that gets added to the communal and you know there's a popular variant where you use all the skills from the other mage knights the easiest way to do that is i'll just stick this in here and then i'll just you know, put the, the other ones that I want in. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And there's a little trash bag over here. You can get rid of the ones you want. Whatever. The point is, you've got a little shuffler with skills in it to put up here for the skill bag. Over here, you've got your wound cards. So you can pull out the wound cards during the setup, depending on your scenario, and just add them to the deck. Also, you can, a good little trick, this is a tabletop simulator thing, not my mod, but whenever you pull things from a bag, if you hold down the left mouse button, so I've still got the left mouse button pressed after I dragged it out. If I now mouse over that bag and press the right mouse button, it'll just keep picking items out of that bag and adding it. And it's a very quick way to get lots of, of the same item out of, you know, lots of items out of a bag for when you're doing your, you know, your wounds. Also, we've got the indecisive units, so you can pick out your indecisive units depending on your scenario and just stick them up here when you want to use them. Now, indecisive units, I think by default it maxes out at uh, six if you're playing the default rules. The colors don't matter, it's just uh, to mark which other units are indecisive. So that's how you do that. You just pull it out of the bag, chuck them up there, and you know, you can stick it in the trash when you're finished. And that's pretty much there. You have the little Volcare thing here, but there is other components that aren't automated as part of my, uh, you know, the way I like to sort of reduce automation in, in mods. So just pull out a couple of tokens. Uh, basically, if you look into the bag where you've got the guy out of, you'll have the movement card you've also got the uh the camp and you've also got these little things here that can be quite helpful if you want to use them uh they're a bit of a pain to set up but they're not too hard so basically what you want to do is just place volcare wherever you want him and then flip him over with the f key then grab the arrow key that you want so say I'm going to use that one. I'm going to flip it over with the F key as well. Then I just drop it on top of Volcare. And then on the toolbar, there's this little option called Joint. So click on Joint, zoom in, highlight the arrows, and then highlight Volcare and let go. And now 
this is attached. So now as you play, he can move around and you know, you can see exactly how he's supposed to move. And that's a little thing you can do if you wish. Also, of course, you got the normal cards are in here if you want to just use the cards and so forth and so forth. And of course, there's his camps in there as well. And that's pretty much it. So once it's all set up, you just got the draw one button and, you know, just, just use the button to, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, play the game. And that's it. Hope you like it. Have fun, and I'll see you guys next time.